Well, hey there team, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Returnal. I suppose we're cold starting straight in. This is the PC port coming across. This obviously already exists as a PlayStation exclusive up until now. It's been a game I've been meaning to play for a very long time. Made by Housemark that made some really awesome arcade roguelike stuff on the PlayStation Network. Rezo Gun comes to mind, I think is what it's called. I played the shit out of that on the PS4. Anyway, apparently this is fantastic. It's been out for a while, but this is the first time I'm looking at it, and we'll see how the PC build goes. Um, a little bit more AAA for Housemark, like a lot more budget's gone into it. It's more of a third-person shooter, but it still seems to, from what little media I've seen of it, I've managed to stay pretty media blackout for a long time on this. It's still got that sort of b neon bullet hell stylized vibe that a lot of their games tend to have. Um, except you're playing as some Sheila in a crashed spaceship this time. This is very exciting. Uh, so yeah, we'll go in blind, we'll have a bit of a look at it. I'll give mouse and keyboard a go if it lets me, though it was obviously built for thumbsticks originally. Um, we'll see, we'll see how it wants to be played on the PC. And if you do like this, and I like this, and we want to keep playing, let me know. Um, you know, drop a comment and we'll, we'll do more episodes, turn into a longer playthrough. Or maybe it's just a one and done to shout it out and let people know that it exists. Oh, look out! You're supposed to, you're supposed to watch where you're driving. Oh, we got heterochromia, do we? Straight out of 28 weeks later. Oof. God, it does look good, doesn't it? Mate. What a landing. Could have been a lot worse. <laughs> Alright. Well, helmet's intact. Astra. This is Celine. Oh. I've crashed on Atropos. I survived, but... Helios did not. The spaceship Ship status operational, but my sidearm is missing. Oh no, good. I'm leaving comms open. Used to look around, control to sprint. Oh wow, this shield has got some gas. Oh. Abandoning Helios. Yeah, bugger it. We don't need it anyway. White Shadow Broadcast. Overgrown Ruins. Investigate Signal Source. Alright, let's go. So yeah, so this is a roguelike from what I understand. I remember when it came out, it got some pretty serious mainstream traction and success. And I saw a lot of the talking heads, you know, on Twitter and all that sort of stuff, kind of gobsmacked. This it was baby's first roguelike. Like a lot of them had never... We didn't even know this genre statues. existed. So I'm, I'm glad that this brought so much attention to the space. What's me Sheila look like? Oh yeah. I like, I like a uniform, the yellow, yellow on the white. That's cool. Oh wow, look at this grass. Best grass, 2023. What's this? I have found a deceased astroscout here. It's me! Checking identification on a helmet. It's... That can't be! Oh, I love a good little sci-fi mystery like this. Clones and parallels and time loops and whatever. She is keeping her shit together remarkably well. well that gun's clean as anything and this body looks... Probably aged, right? Decomposed. Continuing towards the signal's origin. 
Yeah, right. Onward and upward. Hold to focus aim. Can I toggle, please? I would rather- I would absolutely rather toggle if you'd let me. Gameplay. Aim assist medium. Alt fire toggle. No, 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 no. No, I want aim toggle. To sprint, press. I mean, it's so close. It's teasing me with the option. You're killing me. Uh, alt fire. Focus aim. Okay. Oh. God, that shits me. This, uh, this sensitivity's got to come down as well. Uh, controls, mouse. Mouse look, mouse aim. Let's drag them both down a bit. All right, that'll do for the moment. We'll, we'll, we'll twist, we'll twist our nips a little bit as we go. Press tab to access your suit computer. Ooh, what a swish computer. Oh, I'm nearly at the thing. Yeah. Okay. Wow, look at this. Statues. My cool ease. Blah, 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 blah. How's reloading work? All right, recharges. Undiscovered item. Oh, whoops, I gotta hold, I gotta hold, scan. It's a big old bag of testes. Large Siflum. Sil Silphium. Pick it up, gives you the healies. Got it. But it does look good, this game. It looks great. Oh, red door's red. Locked gate. I require one thing. Lyra, right, let's go get the thi Oh, hang on, what's going on here? It's a bit fucking invasive. Bit tentacly. Getting poked and prodded by the wildlife. Oh, look out. Oh, I like. Oh, okay, I like all these tails. Oh, Jesus. Was that another me? Stop eating me. Alright, I can at least hold down to shoot. Yeah, see, we've got some bullet hell stuff going on here. All right, there's a active reload. It looks like. Hostile fauna dispatched. Adrenaline level one. What's this? Escape press tutorial. Your adrenaline is raised for every three hostiles you eliminate, up to a maximum of five. Upon taking any damage, it is reset. So it's a combo. This shield provides a unique effect. Good. Right. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Got it. What are all these little orbs? New data about the bank injury. Orb light. Previously unknown radioactive mineral with a crystalline structure and a golden glow. After separating the material from any unknown error, can be auto-gathered by the suit's resource tank. Oh. The radiation signals of the local structures indicate that there has been primary energy source for the sentient civilization. So it's highly likely that the collected minerals can be used to power dormant xeno-type machinery. Okay. Good to know. What's this? Undiscovered item. A scout log. Retrieve. Recording. Planet Atropos. What is this? Scout log. Elapsed time 30 minutes since last crash. Last crash? Whole areas of this forest are rearranging themselves like a fluid puzzle after each of my dot dots. When, whenever I return. Per Astra Protocol, I will not be recovered until I reach the broadcast signal. You're hearing this, you are stuck here too. Oh, did I just read it? Found. Adding to data bank. Yeah. Playing back now. Oh, play it. Scout log. Atropos. Elapsed time. 30 minutes. Okay, right. So I just read the transcript. I'm a silly sausage. Whole areas of this forest are rearranging themselves like What's this? A fluid Fills one three. slot towards max integrity upgrade. When Whenever I return, Get some resin. Per Astra Protocol, I will not be recovered until I reach the broadcast signal. Well, I've got like a dash. Look at that. If you're hearing this. You are stuck here too. Yeah, I am. 
Oh well. Oh look, got it. No, I don't either. Oh, I'm picking up the, the, the juices. Picking up the things. The turbos. Getting the undiscovered dudax. Seems to be working with mouse and keyboard, alright. Open secured gates. A tropin key. Alright. 10 to 1 we get bushwhacked here. Oh, maybe not. Nope, they're gonna just let me walk back. Okay. Alright, stick the key in the hole. It's not my not my first door. Oh, what are those lasers over there? Press to dash, hold for a longer dash. Ah. When dashing, you're invisible, uh, invincible to hazards and most enemy attacks. Right? Press escape for a video tutorial. Okay, this is all pretty handy dandy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Swishies. Oops, didn't read that. Alright, that's probably not good for me health, but maybe I could just dash through it, eh? What's out here? What's down here? Oh, death apparently. Adrenaline reset. That's a bit unfair game. It's not really clear what... Oh, maybe these little flowers mean you die if you go off the edge of them. You know, I'm looking for the game telegraph. Nope, I don't think so. Oh, this is where we started? Okay, roger, roger. Don't mind me, just exploring around. Shit. Ah, oh, I didn't realize there was a hole underneath me. Oi, looky, looky. All right, yeah, that doesn't look good for me. I get the feeling if I go down there, I'll die. Even though I can see like forest floor. Ah. Come on then. It's, what is this overload? When Atropos weapons on Atropos do not require ammunition, but they can overheat if fired continuously. After overheating, your weapon slowly recharges itself. But you can speed this process with overload. Pull the trigger when the indicated things in the marker. Right, it's active reload from Gears of War. We know what it is. There's a bit of a soft homing lock within my reticle, I think. See that? Sort of like if I fire off of him a bit. That's okay. Especially, especially with thumbsticks. It's kind of important to have that for a lot of games. But, uh, keyboard's handling okay so far. I guess the concern is because you don't have analog input with WASDA, and yet I'm going to have to do precise bullet hell dodging. So that could be a problem. But we'll see. Malignant key over secure gates and containers, but is infected with malignancy. Have a chance of causing malfunctions. They have negative effects or can inhibit certain actions. Okay. Oh no, I got, I got malignance. A negative effects gained from malignant items or parasites. Remove a malfunction by completing a task on the left side of the screen. Okay, so it gives you a debuff that can be cleared with a mini mission. That's so cool. At full integrity, minus 50% weapon damage. Right, so I want to use consumables. Oh, no, no go in there. To clear it. Okay. 
I don't know how to use consumables, but oh look, big old, big old ball. It's a bit bloody strange, isn't it? I've discovered piled corpses of a xenotype species. Oh, so I have. Likely the architects of these ruins. Oh, it's a bit Prometheus-like, isn't it? Broadcast the white shadow signal. Yeah. Yeah, right. I can bear day to be those blokes. There's something going on over here. I don't get a flashlight. So like my little shoulder shoulder sight goes over. It's kind of cool. What's this scout log? It is impossible to escape. I have tried everything. I'm always brought back by. There is a moment between death and rebirth yeah. when tentacles drag me down. Oh, I don't know. I didn't realize it was going to be like drowning. Bloody hentai stuff. Returning. Returnal. The the bloody tentacle game. Ah! Oh, he's got a red bit on his head. Holy shit! All right, I'm dead. <laughs> ah, tentacles! Smoke tentacles! Oh, this is great! If there's one thing, like, obviously AAA games, they take a while to develop. Who knows what's in development at the moment, right? Because they have, like, fucking six-year lead times on them, even, and that's without problems. Who knows what sort of uh, AAA roguelikes we might have coming down the tube on the back of something like this. And this being ported to PC is only going to reinvigorate the interest in a AAA roguelike space. Astra, this is Celine. I survived the... I don't know if it's the future of games, but I would love if I'm games... Oh, I'm first person. Status operational and... If games pivoted in that direction. Ship terminals. Anyway, I'll just finish my thought. I like the idea of having a story that's not, you know, not aiming for this industry standard that we've had for the past couple of decades. Like eight to ten hours, triple A, pay the price, play it through probably once, right? Maybe achievement hunt, maybe play through a second time. It depends. But normies will just play it once. Why not make it the game that goes for one or two hours as on a good roguelike run, but design it in such a way with the meta upgrades and just the interest in the loop so that you're incentivized. Your player will immediately want to play it five times instead of once. You know, get five two-hour runs in as opposed to uh, one ten-hour run. So, do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be the way that indie roguelikes are going, but something like this that straddles narrative and big budget and potentially sort of longer form storytelling but more like uh, shorter compared to current triple a uh contemporary culture i suppose is what you'd say anyway just the thoughts what would i know i'm an idiot um helios has two terminals uh using the main terminal and the challenge terminal main terminal can be used to review your overall statistics and ships log information challenge terminal can be used to access dailies okay we don't give a shit about dailies. Overview. Ship log. What's this? Astra Command Directive. Oh, okay. Look at this. You see the white shadow? Ah. Okay, we can read through them at another time. First episode, I usually try to go light on the reading because this may just be a once-off. You know, there may be no interest in covering this further, in which case I'd rather just show gameplay. Hostiles eliminated. Malfunctions. Obs. O oblites. Okay. Unidentified item in cargo bay. Removal recommended. Yeah. Tension, this is... Okay, yep, cool. Right. I go out the hole? What's going on in the cargo bay? I could have a, I could have a nap? I like this, the first person sort of little cabin HQ. Oh, 
Jesus. Wake me up! I don't like it! <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's go. Oh, mind all the sharp edges! All you gotta do is cut your little suit a tiny bit and then it's over. Good transition. I like it. I've got me gun this time. The cycle. Every time you die and return to the crash site without the weapons... Oh, you die and a return to the crash site without the weapons, artifacts and resources collected last cycle. Your data bank entries are permanent and permanent equipment survive. Right. Use these permanent items to explore new areas and use shortcuts. Yeah, okay. Okay. Control to sprint, I don't mind so much. Uh, I think Risk of Rain does it. Risk of Rain 2. That's fine, I put like 10,000 hours into that. And I don't even know, because it's just muscle memory at this point. But I know like the Division uses control in, the, in weird ways. Kind of works. A rift between two... Timelines? What is this shit? Host a private co-op session by inviting your friend to your timeline. As the hosting player, you will gain permanent equipment, but you won't be able to increase your scout rank. Ah. Join a public co-op session by entering someone else's timeline. You get to increase your scout rank. Oh, isn't that interesting? That's kind of cool. Is that- that- surely that's not a new feature to this version. I just- I- I- whatever. I've never heard of it, that's all. Alright, so I don't have a double jump, so I don't think I'm going up there. Yeah. Yeah! Alright, let's go! Helios abandoned. Wasn't like this before. I'm getting third party. Get out of here, you goober. Alright, give me some of these, whatever those are. Power sources or something. Maybe I can go to a shop. So I can get weapons, but they don't really What? What are you doing to me, game? There's clearly stuff down there. Maybe I need a swimming suit module or some bullshit. Nope. Large resin. I didn't read what that does. Can I can I read my thing? Hang on, data bank. Resources. Resin. Risk. Okay. Uh. What's this then? Locked container, no key. Man, no swag found. Tragic. Undiscovered item. Let's go. A tropian weapon charger. Alt fire mode to weapons. Press Q. Ah. Alt fire to destroy growths. Highly effective. This will be useful. Where'd my alt fire go? Maybe, uh, maybe I need ammo for it or something. I don't know. Maybe it charges up. Oh, okay, I don't necessarily need to aim. I can just hip fire. Fuck yeah, let's go. That's so much better. Fuck that dude.
My uh, my active reload window is much more forgiving there. Wonder what that's about. Oh yeah, that's better. Maybe that's part of my uh you know, not getting hit. You know how I get upgrades apparently if I manage to Where do you go? Adrenaline rush, enhanced vision. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me enhanced eyeballs. Let's go. Bionic eye holes. What's this? Oh, the discovery is so good. Look at this. It's like a, it's a Star Trek gun. Modulate. They're assimilating. This looks like something out of first contact. Acquired a xenotype weapon. Do you know how to use it? Don't shoot your shoulder off. Unlocked new weapon traits and stats with proficiency. Gain proficiency by eliminating hostiles, right? Each weapon you discover has three properties. Alt fire, stats, and traits. Alt fire is the alternative firing mechanism that recharges over time. Ah. Stats affect the base, the weapon's power and other attributes that are unique to the weapon. Oh, what am I looking at here? Bonus damage, overload projectiles, fire rate. Okay, sure. Many traits start... Uh, well, traits can modify or add new behaviors. Many traits start as locked, but you can unlock them with continuous use of the weapon. Oh, your proficiency level affects how high the stats can go up. Right, so... Can I change weapon? What happened to me pistol? Equipment. Maybe I'm not allowed to have the pistol anymore. You know what I mean? Like now that now that I've got this. Ugh. Oh shit! Oh look at this! I've got little homing missiles coming off me off me back. This game is crack. Yes, Scarlet is having a good time. Anything over here? All right, cool. Wait, what was that? I, I got a pop up on my screen. Put it back. Inert device. A Xenotech device that requires something to activate it. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Look at this bloke. Look at this clown. A massive wall beyond which is the white shadow signal. I can't cross the chasm. I can't cross the chasm. For now, I'll change objectives and investigate the energy reading in the forest. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Scout log. Oh. Atropos. Yep. Who triggered the broadcast? Yeah. Do you see the white shadow is something only I should know? And now, out of literally nowhere, I'm hearing it again. This chick is unstable. Are the sentience involved? But how would they have known? Maybe that's the twist. All I along, she just needs to, to take her meds. Is this like a barnacle? Is this going to grab me? Yep. Oh, but I can use it. To find new heights. Uh oh. Something's yelling. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh shit. Oh no, me, me super reload's gone. Oh, we're going to go this bloke! Get out of here! Oh, it's reloading too slow. Oh, this is more like it. Alright, okay. Shit's getting spicy now. How many? How many? Yeah, 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 okay. I wonder if it's always the same bonus. You know, like, once I get the first tier of bonuses it increases my active reload bar size because I'll take it oh what's this shit permanent weapon trait unlock critical hit one increase suit repair effectiveness repair enhancer press one to use I think this will prove a useful tool all right yeah, you talk I'll, I'll wait for you how's that sound consumables are single use items with unique effects you can carry multiple copies of the same consumable Access your consumables. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. So that repairs me, me suit. 
Repair enhancer. I've got two of them. I'm going to press one to see what it does. Repair efficiency doubled. Alright. If you say so. Oh, maybe when I pick up heals or something, they double the strength now. Broken Calibrator. Grants a small amount of weapon proficiency. Let's go. Alright. And apparently my weapon upgraded or some something or other. Carbine. Yeah, one. Critical hit. Projectiles may do deal additional damage. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get this. Alright. So maybe this does double healing? I don't know. Let's let's just let's just say it does. That doesn't seem to hurt me. What's going on here? Nah. That's a bit of a waste of a gun. All right, I've got two doors as well. I've got the triangle door, and I've got the rectangle door. I guess I got to choose. Now the game said I could suspend my progress as well. Suspend, quit. Suspend and quit. To resume this cycle to your next session or quit to end your cycle. What if I say suspend and exit? Suspend the game until your next session, allowing you to resume it. This is this is fantastic. This should be in every uh, roguelike ever. Um just just save state mid run. You know? Not not backsies, not abuse, not bloody uh save scumming or anything like that. Just save state so you can go you know, deal with the kids are fighting in the living room or whatever. You know, you got to take the sharp objects off them. You need to bloody suspend your game. Anyway, what do we reckon? This is fantastic. I'm uh, on one level. I'm a little sad that I've gone so far without playing this yet. But at the same level, I'm just kid in a candy store. This game has made me. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you love this as well and you want to see some more, uh, drop a comment. Uh, I can only play so many games and there's so much to cover at the moment, but I would actually love to go deeper on this. Anyway, team, might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.